you just celebrated, you and Nancy celebrated your 20 year wedding anniversary, we did, which is yeah. a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you met uh, working on The Daily Show. No, you didn't. You, you met. Second at, City. Yeah. Yeah. So, and how did you, did you have a pickup line or how did you? Uh, <laughs> we were terrible. We, I, she used to work. I worked at Second City, she was taking classes there, but she worked as a bartender across the street. And I used to go in after shows and, you know, try to strike up a conversation. We were both very, very timid, sort of nervous, shy people around each other. And the conversation would go something like, hey, you know, if I were ever to ask a woman out, it would be someone like you, exactly like you. And she'd say, <laughs> if a guy like you were ever to ask, <laughs> a woman like me out, I would definitely do that. But this went on for weeks, it didn't. <laughs> and other people at the bar must have been like, just do it. Put us all out of our misery. And finally we, finally we did, and it was great. Finally, like who was the person who made the, the actual statement of it is you, not someone like you? I think I actually said, so you wanna <laughs> go out? I mean, it's. I, at, when you, I was watching your, your, your segment before, I actually got on the phone and I remember the first girl I ever asked out on a date, a girl named Lisa Miller, I was in eighth grade and all my buddies on the hockey team said, you gotta do it, you gotta, we're gonna, there's like five of us going out with our girlfriends and we're all gonna go to a movie, you gotta ask Lisa. Everybody says that she likes you, I'm like, really? Okay, and I was so nervous and I got on the phone and her dad picked up, hi, this is Steve Carell, you know, I tried to, you know, I was polite and it's, it's Lisa there. She got on the phone, Lisa, would you like to go to the movie a group was going on Friday? And she just said, no, I don't. <laughs> No excuse, nothing. Just like, I really don't want to do that. <laughs> and I never asked another girl out on the date. Well, like, I never, I know, sad. <laughs> but I never did. I, I never had the guts to actually call a girl on the phone after that. Texting would be fantastic. Yeah. Like, are you good to the date? <laughs> yes, I are. <laughs> like, you know, so, so easy. You became a caveman just now. I don't. <laughs> You, that's why she didn't go out with me. That's why. Because you don't have to make those sounds when you're texting. You can just, really? no. That's not what. There's no need to make noises. I thought it was, I thought it was voice activated. It's not, well, there, there's that too. Oh, but, okay. Yeah. I'm not uh, tech savvy. No, um, but isn't Lisa sad now? But that's, that Lisa's know. lost. No, she's sad. She's looking at this going, oh, I could have been Nancy. Um, I learned today that you own a general store. Yeah. In Massachusetts, we do. Yeah. What what area? It's in, on the South Shore. It's in a little town called Marshfield, mm -hmm. and it's the Marshfield Hills General Store. And my sister-in-law runs it. We bought it, boy, about eight eight years ago. I love that you own a general store. Yeah, there. Yeah, that's it. What do you and sell there? And we sell going in the no morning. No one's there. It's it's empty. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> it's it's not doing well. It's Steve. not going very well. No. Um, Maybe that's why I have to talk about it you right know, now. <laughs> Please go to his I'm, store. I'm so glad you brought it up. <laughs> it's, you know, we sell penny candy and muffins and coffee and little items and, you know, I, thought, I think how, it's nice. How in the red are you? <laughs> Marshfield Hills General Store. <laughs> you know, if you want, we'll let you do a commercial backstage and we'll, we'll air it every once in a while. <laughs> Thank you. Okay.